Welcome to the Jacobson Center. In this short tutorial, I'll tell you about who we are, where we are, how to create an account, and how to get the most from our services. Where and what is the Jacobson Center? The Jacobson Center is located in 307 Sealy Hall, that's on the third floor, and it houses six professional full-time writing counselors. We're open from 8.30 in the morning until 5 in the afternoon, Monday through Friday, so you can schedule an appointment with us at any time during a 30-minute block. So what kinds of assignments can I bring to the center? You can bring any assignments from any class. In addition to that, any proposals, presentations, or grant writing that you need to do. Basically, any piece of writing that you think you'd like some work on. And at what point in the writing process should I bring my paper? Do I need to wait until I'm finished? You can bring your papers in at any time during the writing process. In fact, we found that the most beneficial use of the center is to come in before you've started writing. So if you're going to do that, bring the actual assignment with you, and you and the writing council will go over the best way to create a blueprint or maybe even just a first draft for you. You can also come in with a messy, half-thought-out, disheveled, rough draft, or you can come in with a perfectly polished, almost ready to submit final draft. It's totally up to you. However, whichever option you choose, it's really helpful if you can upload the actual assignment that you're going to be working on. That way the writing counselor can see what you're being asked to do. So that can help us evaluate what you have written or what you will write. So Peter, can I work on my sentence structure and grammar issues when I come to a writing counselor? Yes. However, we've found that the most beneficial use of your time is to go over analysis or thesis statement or structure or organization because going over sentences is the most time consuming of all the options. So there's a good chance that we would not be able to get all the way through your paper. Is there a maximum number of pages that I can submit? Six pages tends to be the limit that we can give close attention to in one 30 minute period. However, if you have a longer piece, Speak to a writing counselor about setting up multiple appointments. How exactly do I upload my paper? Or can I email it to a writing counselor? You have three options. After you've included all the information for your appointment, at the bottom of the page you'll see a button that says Save. Click that button. You will then see a page that says Success. Just below that is a sentence that says, If you would like to attach a file, click here. This will take you to the Attach File page. Just click Browse to locate the file on your computer. Click Open and then click Upload. After you do this, you will still be on the Attach a File page, but the second paragraph will say, your file has been successfully attached. Click the Close Window button and you're finished. However, if you want to upload your paper at a later date, you can do that as well. Simply click on your appointment, when the window opens, scroll down to the bottom left. Under Admin Options, you will see Attach File. Click on that and then proceed as usual. And third, if the first two options fail for whatever reason, simply email the instructor who you made an appointment with. How many appointments can I make per week? Is there a limit? You're allowed to make three appointments per week. This can be with the same counselor or different ones. It's up to you. Just keep in mind that that number may be reduced as the semester goes on and we get closer to finals. What if I need to cancel my appointment? Go to the WCO website and click on your appointment. At the bottom of the page, you will see a red rectangle that says Cancel Appointment. Simply click there. Keep in mind that you have to cancel your appointments three hours in advance or it will be labeled as a no-show. If you get two no-shows, your account will be temporarily suspended and you'll have to contact the center to get it reactivated. If it happens a second time, your account will be suspended for the semester. So that's it. If you have any questions, you can email me, Peter Sapira, or Brian Turner, or you can just come into the center and talk to someone at the help desk. We look forward to working with you.